Welcome to Lil's Pressure Washing. In this video, we're going to be showing you how we're going to be quoting this plant and get it clean and hopefully get the contract landed. Now, this is still an open contract. We haven't landed it yet, so we don't mind even putting this video out because we know our competitors do watch our channel and they're going to be bidding it as well. So just may the best one win. We wish you nothing but the best. We were going to go over how we're going to bid it, so we're not worried about it. We're very confident in our work. So with that being said, we're going to bid the entire front of this Japanese part manufacturing company because the bosses are coming over from Japan. They come over every so often and they want to get this nice and clean. They only want to get this north side right here, this kind of north side. And then we're going to go to the northeast side on the other side. It's not that bad. It's just stucco. It's kind of worse around these bushes. And as you go through this breezeway, you'll see it above the doorway there. And we'll also throw in washing this breezeway underneath right here at the top the uh, ceiling right here and then we're also going to probably throw in the windows no extra charge just to try to land this contract we do have a water fed pole system most people won't do that but we don't mind throwing freebies in they only want from the side of the building where i'm pointing at right there all the way down i asked if they wanted to clean the front as well above the stucco and they said no they don't think that's important so we're just going to give them what they requested we actually mentioned it was probably a good idea but like i said we're not going to press the issue we're going to advise them and let them make the decision and give them the appropriate options to choose so we are going to clean this when the cars are removed of course we're going to do it probably on a sunday if we land the contract we are going to also schedule a lift so when you're doing these quotes you want to factor in a lift money you know like probably around 300 400 is what i would say would be appropriate amount for a lift uh, that's what we get it for anyway we get around 350 now there's a lot of concrete we're going to do all the concrete which is this right here underneath these hvac units and also the concrete sidewalks around the side and the front of the building and also we're going to be cleaning the entire middle building including the silos and the concrete at the bottom of the silos so it's quite a big job and the silos are the same size of the building they think it's around 30 i think it's around 30 35 feet tall around three stories and uh, that's why we're going to get the lift we've already got that factored into the quote we were able to give them this quote within 15 20 minutes of being out here versus other companies or people having to go home and do it on paper and send it back and we just kind of give it to them right away we'll, we'll sit down we'll figure it out we'll do the measurements and we send it over on a crm i recommend if you don't have a crm definitely get a crm now in a building like this i definitely would come in over 15 cents a square foot on the very minimum because look at the front right here it's going to take a lot of sh and this sidewalk is going to take a lot of sh you also want to make sure you're not killing any of this plants so you want to neutralize and have somebody always watering the bottom down here we're going to be very careful around these windows you don't want to get any chemicals on the aluminum in the windows we're going to stay rinsing it the whole time and also for this vegetation like i said i would come in over 15 cents a square foot on this building the last thing you want to do is bid it so low that you lose money on or you get on the job you try to compete and get the job from other companies and you kick yourself in the butt because you're out here and it's more work than what you scheduled and what you planned and what you accounted for i see that happen all the time so know your value know your worth and bid accordingly you got to have confidence in yourself when you're bidding these jobs they're, if you're not confident in yourself they're not going to be confident it's going to show through your expression through everything else so on a job like this, I'd be around at least over 15 cents a square foot, 20 cents a square foot, and always factor in a lift. It's a very big building, but it's no problem for us. We're able to knock it out, no problem. So we're hoping to hear back from this. And if we don't get it, we wish nothing but the best for the company that does get it. We always encourage working with other companies. If there's a job you can't handle or you need help, reach out to your so-called competition because they can possibly help you and you could help them. And guys, you can always get the prices up. Keep your prices up. Always do good work. People over profits. God bless each and every one of you guys. I hope this video has helped you guys. And don't be afraid of work like this. Once you get in the door and you've done this and you've got this in your portfolio, you can put it on your website, you can put it on your Google My Business, and you can put it on all your social media. And you can always use it as a point of reference for future work. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button. Let's go.